Tesoro. Sexy Wednesday. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeremiah. It's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks. And we are giving you some tech tips this afternoon because I had some time to kill before I head to show some houses. And why wouldn't I drop some knowledge bombs on you to help you out with your real estate career or just your video creation strategy? Uh, this question has come up quite often lately with people wanting to create closed captioning or transcriptions for their videos. I'm going to give you quick three easy, not easy, but simple ways uh, to create them for the videos that you're creating. Because I would say, um, if not now, but very soon in the real estate industry or whatever industry you're in, if you're using video and you're posting videos on your websites and on your pages and that, you're going to need to have uh, the closed captioning so that it's ADA compliant. Meaning, you know, if I can't hear, I can read. Right. If I can't hear, I can read. Yes. And if I can't see, I can hear. So that it covers those two senses. So <clears throat> not to mention it. <coughs> sorry. Not to mention it also boosts your engagement that if somebody's sitting at their office, you know, let's face it, a lot of people are on Facebook during the day and they can watch your videos while they're at their cubicle. They can go, oh, somebody's going live and they can watch it and not get in trouble because they don't have to have the sound on. So let's get right to it. First one I want to show you is called, it's called Web Captioner. So I'm going to bring it up on screen here. Do, 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 do. There we go. I'll do split screen like this. I'm going to come over to Web Captioner. I'm going to actually turn it on until it's a start captioning. Start captioning, please, so that I can show everybody how Web Captioner works. And you can see, as I talk, this transcribes what I'm saying live. It's pretty accurate. Even if I talk a little bit faster, you know how fast I can talk, that this thing will actually keep up and listen to everything that I'm saying. Because if I'm like the Micro Machine Man, I really start talking fast. And then I want people to really keep up with me. They don't have to because they can read what I'm saying rather than listen to what I'm saying. How did that work? Dude, that's pretty, that is pretty accurate, I have to say. Now, at the end of all this, I can save this. You can see, like, if I bring this to the full screen, at the bottom there, I can hit where it says stop captioning. It allows me to save this as a Word file or a TXT file. You can then copy and paste that um, and make it an SRT file and put that wherever you want. But this is fantastic for a live broadcast. Um, you know, where it's closed captioning, right? So if I if I wanted, if I had another person that wanted to bring on screen, um, if somebody wants to come on screen, just type something in the comments, type a question or something like that. I'll send you the link via messenger. I can bring you right up on the screen with us. So I'm gonna bring, of course I'm gonna do the on screen update. Tech tips, tech tips, tech tips, tech tips, tech tips, watch, boom. Bring it up on screen. Tech Tips with J-Man. I'm going to hide that, okay? Tech Tips with J-Man. Okay, second way we can do this. Oh, you see that? Oh, my gosh, it's so exciting. So if you're just tuning in, this is Web Captioner. This is our first tip of how to do closed captioning. Uh, once this is done, this is a free service. I'm not kidding, free. If you go to webcaptioner.com, I'm going to put that in the comments as well. Web Captioner, www.webcaptioner. Dot com. Okay, here we go. Comments. Bring that up. Hide this one. Okay, bring that. Comments. Did it work? Yes. Okay, then I can bring it up on the screen. I know that. Let me see this one here, sir. Okay. www.webcaptioner.com. That's the first one. All right, so I got two more. Two more to offer you. Second one is going to be. Audio, it's uh, temi.com, T-E-M-I.com. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen again. I can share it in two different ways. I'm going to share it to the broadcast. Let me see how I want to set this up. I want to do this. Yeah, that works. I like this setup. 
I have multiple ways I can set it up with the BeLive.TV, which is cool. So you're seeing what I'm seeing, actually. This is BeLive.TV. But if I go to Temi.com, it's as easy as selecting your audio video file. Okay, if I click that. And it's a little slower than usual because I got so many things running at the same time. But you can upload. You could paste URLs, which is cool. But upload files. And so I would just pick a video. Let's say if I wanted to pick this live video I did yesterday, hit open. Okay. For your very first time, it's going to be free. Okay, let me just go backwards because I don't want them to charge me. Okay. Your very first time is going to be free, but what it does is it uploads your video. It will ask you questions like, is the audio clear? Um, is there any background noise? Is the person talking loud enough? You know, things that can affect the transcription of the video. Uh, if you say those are all okay and you give them the okay, after your first trial, you know, your first one is free, like I said, it's 10 cents per minute, right? So for a 10-minute video, it's a dollar. 20-minute, $2. 30 minute, $3, okay? It'll cost you more than that. Even if you hired it out to Fiverr.com, um, it, it would be more than that. It'd be you know $5 for a 50 minute video, but th that's your third option is to send it to Fiverr.com or, let me see, we don't have any other comments yet. I'm very disappointed in you folks. All right, if I come over to Facebook, Here's a video that I created uh, yesterday. You're going to come in here, and you should be going after you do live videos. This is one of the tips that I give in uh, my live video, my video course called Get Over Yourself. But if I come in here and I go edit video, boom, right? You want to make sure that you add a title because when you go live from your mobile device, there isn't a title. You actually just what you're typing in is the description. It's not the title of the video. You want to tag anybody else that was with you at that live video you want to check into any locations and or events set the date and time you that you have up to nine eight or nine keyword tags that you can add to it like real estate uh real estate rental listings continue on from there okay distribution so you can allow embedding but you can make it available to other pages so if you have other pages that you manage I have 16 pages I'm involved with. I'm not going to allow all the other pages to do it, but I could. But here's what I want to show you, subtitles and captions. So I select the language. It's going to be English. But here's a, here's a good tip. If you speak more than one language, you could speak in English and transcribe it in Spanish. Let's say if, if I have English and Spanish or Chinese or Thai or anything else. Look at this. They have a ton. Arabic, Bosnian. Okay, but I'm going to do English. Here, where if I saved the captions from uh, Web Captioner, I could upload them here, but they'll auto automatically generate them for you here. So you check that, and then you hit save. If it's the first time you've done it, it's not going, there isn't going to be any closed captioning in there. Uh, but the next time you, you know, after you save, if you go back in there, it's going to be there. You got to give it a second to kind of process. But let me go back to a video to show you what it's like on my page. Okay, I'm going live. Oh, look, that's me. That's exciting. All right, so I'm going to go to one of my videos that I know has been captioned already. Let's see. I think this one here. Live video we did the other day. That's right. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to hit, again, the same way I'm going to edit the video, but this time there's going to be captions already in there. So I come in here, and then this little pencil, I hit edit. One moment while that's loading. Okay. And it breaks it up into time segments. I've never really tried to do this while doing a live broadcast. So, oh, it does work. Okay. But I'm not afraid to try new things. Boom. Okay. So that's right. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeremiah here, man, coming to you live. And actually, we have a new intern that's been working on this, and I think she already came in here and edited it. This is sweet. All right. But if, you know, if there was mistakes in here, I'm going to come in, and you can edit it, and then you hit save draft, and then you're done. But I don't have to, but that's how you would do it.
that's the quickest way, really. Rather than copy and pasting and uploading the, the CRT file that they want, I would just have them auto-generate it, come back, and then make the edits. As long as it's not like an hour-long video, if it's just a few minutes, it should take you just a few minutes. Uh, but you can also play the video simultaneously so that so that it is lined up. You know, you don't always know exactly what you're supposed to say, especially me when I, I didn't never know what's come, gonna come out of my mouth, and so I have to listen to the video here and again to make sure that it's actually capturing everything that I'm saying. All right, so I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna get rid of this screen share. Now we're just to the two, but we have been captioning all of this material. Isn't this fantastic? Okay. I'm going to bring this comment back down. I'm going to post in here. Okay. Web captioner, www.temi.com is the second one I recommended. And then just let the Facebook do it. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the last one in the office, so we usually the last one here arms the alarm system. But I lock myself in the office and do videos all the time. Let the Facebook do it. Okay, Temi.com. I'm bring this up on screen. All right, so we have zero viewers right now, so there's nobody that I really have to interact with. But if I did, but if I did, but if I did, you would post comments there. And I could bring it up on the screen. Okay, is there any other questions? No, not seeing any because this is imaginary. But I'm going to put this up on the screen again. I'm going to put it's www.lightscameratakeaction.online to register for the first ever of its kind class okay we're gonna be doing this class on friday 10 a.m eastern standard time you want to get better with video stop what you're doing because i'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to okay i look funny but hey we're making money with video and we're building relationships with our clients and we're branding and there's just you know my biggest tip to everybody is just be yourself be authentic uh be the first you stop trying to be the next whoever that is, but be the first you. Uh, your first step to doing that is getting to our class. It's going to be free on Friday. Uh, depending on how this goes, there may not be another one. You know, Maybe we don't offer it for free ever again. So live your life with no regrets. Don't have FOMO. We'll see you on Friday. Make it a great day. And I'm out.